need that Larry Wheels to address these allegations of uh, abuse or domestic violence. Now, I'm, I'm, my life growing up, I witnessed domestic violence. I, I witnessed uh, my stepfather beat on my mom. Um, and um, it, it's not something that I, I would ever tolerate from another human being. Um, I don't care whether it's from the man or the woman, domestic violence is either way. I've been witness to the opposite, where a woman is the violator, making these accusations, inventing these crazy stories, and so forth. I'm not saying that she's doing this, but I'm having a big problem with her story when it comes to saying that Larry Wheels punched her with a closed fist. Now listen to me. We're talking about Larry Wheels, okay? If he was to punch a man, 250 pounds, you're going to see a mark on that man. This young lady is accusing him of domestic violence that punched her, closed fist. Yet when the police showed up, there wasn't a single mark on her whatsoever. Second, she had your know, brains enough to record an audio, but didn't have brains enough to take pictures of the bruises. Listen to what Larry Reels have to say. Now in the audio recordings, you hear two people having a heated argument in a room, nothing more. That night, I told her many, many times to leave, and she didn't. It was only after she picked up knives did I call the police? When the police arrived, she still had the knives in her hand. So they drew guns on her and cuffed her because she was armed. Now when she calmed down and dropped the knives, she said to them, he beat me and showed them all the recordings that she went public with and that you heard. They listened and examined her from head to toe and did not find a single bruise, scratch, mark, or scrape anywhere on her body. Not a single scratch, bruise on her body. And walked away. When it comes to domestic violence, there is zero tolerance on the man. If the woman says, he hit me, they'll automatically handcuff you. There's no doubt you're sitting in the back of the squad car. There was nothing there. She the one with the knives in her hand and already had audio recordings. If you want to show proof, show a restraining letter, an arrest letter, pictures of the bruises. Show something. Let's keep on listening to Larry. So no arrest was made that night. Now when domestic violence is claimed by a woman, the police take a zero tolerance approach and arrest the man. That is regardless of color of the woman or the man. Now I bring this up because in her video she says, I'm a black woman and things usually don't go well for us. Now, no arrest was made that night because they did not believe her. Plain and simple. It has nothing to do with color. I'm not taking either side. All I'm saying is this. Is this. Her, 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 her story has way too many holes in it. Um, I'm glad that Larry spoke up. Uh, these are bad accusations. Um, the audio, if you haven't listened to it, you got to have a little bit of a, okay, because it's kind of hard to listen to. It is scary. She probably was scared. She picked up knives for a reason. Was it to protect herself from him? But if, if he, she was protecting herself from him, where are the bruises? Where are the marks? Where are the, if Larry Wheels throws his fist and punched you, you're going to feel that. 
you're going to see some marks. Let's say you only punch in your leg. You're still going to have some bruises. For you gentlemen out there, I'm going to give you some advice. Don't yell at your woman. Don't yell at your loved ones. Try to talk it out or walk away. If the your partner is violent, you call the cops. It's okay for a man to call the cops. Protect yourself. I'm hoping that all this goes away. Uh, we already have enough issues with bodybuilding this year. Sean Rowland, Juan Buena Dia, um, Diasha. I mean, you name it. it it's happening. Um, it's a shame that it had to come to this level, but I'll keep a close eye on this, and um, you know, and um, as always, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and uh, don't forget to uh, join the club, Jim Flow Three Sixteen.